A few months ago, on September 28, 2019, during Minecon Live, Mojang announced that a sister event, or rather, a revival of the original Minecon would be happening once again, scheduled to occur in Orlando, Florida on September 25th to the 27th of 2020, fans were naturally really excited. This wasn't going to be just a Minecon Live. This wasn't a Minecon Earth. It was, for all intents and purposes, Minecon, but with a new name. This was going to be a full-blown convention, and people were naturally excited. A few months later, tickets were going to become available on March 6th, noon Eastern Time. But then, as quickly as our excitement arrived, it was, understandably, taken away from us. An announcement was brought to our attention, and the purchase of tickets was halted. The event was officially postponed. If you have an internet connection, it's extremely obvious what's been going on in the world. I mean, if you don't have an internet connection, you probably still know what's going on. It's extremely hard not to see whether you're at the store or staying at home. In this video, we're going to talk about Minecraft festivals postponing, the world, various other events, and the understandable precautions and clearly setbacks we can expect moving forward. So without any further ado, after this video, wash your hands. So to everybody who has gotten to this point and doesn't know what Minecraft Festival was going to be, let me explain. Minecraft Festival was intended to be a massive return to form of the original Minecon experience. With humble beginnings in 2010 and 2011, Minecon originally took place in Las Vegas, Nevada with 5,000 people in attendance. From that point, Minecon just continued to get bigger, heading to Paris in 2012, Orlando in 2013, London in 2015, and Anaheim in 2016. But after that, the experience came to a halt and nothing happened from 2016 onwards. Fans, understandably, were upset myself included. A regular event that many people would return to every single year randomly stopped happening when the game was seemingly at its biggest. Many people attributed this to the purchase of Mojang by Microsoft, but it was never made exactly clear. After that, Minecon would take the form of Minecon Earth. It felt weird. The event was hosted by Will Arnett and it was awkward. The whole event felt like he had no idea what he was doing or where he was. On top of that, he was definitely the last person that you would ever expect to host an event related to video games. Don't believe me? Watch his experience on Conan O'Brien's Clueless Gamer. It's not pretty. Pretty funny, but it's not pretty. Reception to Minecon Earth and Minecon Live events were lukewarm to say the least. Were the announcements cool? Of course. Did we miss the experience of seeing it all unfold in front of a live audience at a massive event? Even more so. To the viewer, Minecon Earth and Minecon Live just felt like a weird Nintendo Direct, but Minecraft. So when it was announced in 2019 that Minecon would be returning to form in 2020 in the form of Minecraft Festival, lots of us were quick to want to buy up tickets and prepare for the trip. But as you know now, that's not exactly what happened. So months went by and Minecraft Festival was postponed. Mojang released a massive statement and it's worded extremely well. You were excited. We were excited. Overall excitement was palpable as Minecraft Festival tickets were going to be released on Friday of this week, officially kickstarting the countdown to our in-person block extravaganza this September. But after careful consideration and much hand-wringing, we've decided to postpone the event until next year. The decision is a result of the extensive preparations required to organize a mammoth event like this. Our partners, producers, and exhibitors are based in all corners of the world and right now we can't meet and collaborate in the way that we need to without knowing exactly when we can resume planning we have decided to postpone that way we can make sure that the next year's event will be the amazing one that our community expects and deserves granted this is all quite disheartening but we do have some good news as well 
Minecraft Live will happen, as planned. It'll be the place for all of the latest Minecraft news, announcements, and behind the scenes exclusive, and will be live beamed straight to your screen wherever you are. Thanks, internet. Stay tuned for a date, a time, and a myriad of announcements. Reading their note, you can genuinely tell their frustrations and heartbreak. This was published on March 5th, 2020. 23 days ago at the time of writing the script. Micah McChill and myself are glad that we didn't make this video sooner. In 23 days, a lot has happened in the world, and honestly, our opinions have changed a lot since then. No matter what, Mojang's decision was justified and it made sense, even then. Zero argument. Since this has happened, Mojang and Microsoft employees have begun working from home. This trend has gone into everything, almost all types of businesses, restaurants, gyms, schools, theaters, places of business, everything has closed. The same day Minecraft Festival was canceled, Michael McChill actually bought his plane ticket to Amsterdam for TwitchCon Europe. The very next day, TwitchCon Europe was canceled. The NBA, E3, GDC, and many more have since closed their doors. The Olympics have even been postponed to 2021. United States taxes have even been pushed back to July. Understandably, the world is in shock right now. Nobody has expected this to get as big as it has. That fact is undeniable. As far as the gaming world is concerned, some various questions have been raised. Will the Nether update be slowed down or even delayed? What about Minecraft Dungeons? While I definitely think those won't necessarily be delayed, or if they are, not by much, only because Mojang continues to prove that they can push out updates extremely quickly, I do wonder the logistics of them being able to do a Minecon Live similar to how they've done in the past. Micah McChill realistically sees them doing a quarantine type Minecon Live similar to how Jimmy Fallon, Kimmel, Conan, Trevor Noah, Stephen Colbert, and so many more have been doing their shows as of late. No matter what happens, personally, I respect their decision. My feelings on Minecon have always been complicated, but only because I've only ever been there as a creator and not just as a player. I do realize I have a positive bias here. As a creator, having the opportunity to put faces to the names and to the numbers is second to none. It's an incredibly humbling experience at Minecon for me. On my channel, there are 3 million people subscribed, and meeting even 1 to 500 people at Minecon is such an incredible experience, and it's incredibly humbling knowing that there are so many more people out there in the world that enjoy my content. I've always loved Minecon for that exact reason. As far as Minecon itself is concerned though, while I may have the opportunity to meet fans, we all have the opportunity to meet fellow friends who also got to go to Minecon. For me, that did tend to be fellow YouTubers, but every single person who goes has the opportunity to meet or to even make their own friends at the event in a safe and public place surrounded by people who share their interests. No matter your race, gender, size, disability, whatever, people can come together to enjoy what Minecraft has done to our lives and not only appreciate it, but celebrate it. If we have to wait another year for that, just so everyone can go not only safely, but also happily and not worried about their health. I'm willing to wait that year. Minecraft Festival may be postponed, but it's not over yet. I respect Mojang entirely, especially because they were among the first to take action during the events that are going on in the world. And I can only imagine what they and all of these other event runners around the world must be feeling right now. Mojang, take your time. If things need to be postponed, especially for as much of a legitimate reason as the world has right now, don't worry. You're not letting us down. We understand it. Take your time, be relaxed, and take care of your people. Where I would typically ask you for your opinions in this outro, I think myself and Michael McChill would rather offer our thoughts. If you've made it this far into the video, stay inside, distance yourself from others safely, and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. I know the world is in a weird place, but we'll all get back on track soon enough. 
keep your head high, stay positive, we'll get through this together, even if the closest that we can get is on a Minecraft server for the time being. This would have been a really good video to be sponsored by MC Pro Hosting. Anyways, take care everybody.